Welcome back, everybody, What's to up, the CHG podcast. I'm RJ. This 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 I'm guy I, I think is this way when I do the when I do the editing. Yeah, this guy sure. is I'm David. Sure. Um, welcome back, guys. Um, it's been a little while since David and I have actually sat down to record in a little bit. Yeah. Um, but it's good to be back. Good to be back. Sorry we missed out last week's episode. Um, I had someone planned, but it didn't work out. It, it fell through. So, um, yeah. So I do apologize for that. But um, we're back at it. We're back at it. Um, hopefully we don't miss too many weeks with this because um, we're trying to. We are trying to treat this as a priority of sorts. Um, but yeah, uh, David, how 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 are you doing? You told me you you didn't quit GameStop, but you have reduced. Your, yeah, your, yeah. I'm only really working there. on the weekends now, so I'm. I'm subbing every day that I don't have school. Um, sub today, uh, a PE teacher. So that was. Fun. I mean, that's that's not that bad. I mean, you you like being no. active. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I play basketball with the kids, and I was gonna play. ask, did you make him do basketball? <laughs> well, it wasn't just me. Like, there's there was three teachers there at all times. So, uh, like for the first half, they just do whatever they want in the gym, and then they have like like. Uh, light exercise and then they play a game so i played basketball with the kids and then uh we also played dodgeball so played that dodgeball too. oh man yeah. yeah i don't think that would fly here in washington i think they outlawed ba- dodgeball well they got those schools. little squishy balls like super squishy like not, yeah not like the not the hard rubber no god no that would, I, I leave, it, those, leave it leave an imprint on although your i i got face. hit in, i got hit in the face like three times and pretty hard with even those like really squishy balls. But if they were like the rubber ones, I probably would have been like out. Oh yeah, it would have been out. You would have got what your tenth concussion? Probably. Yes. <laughs> By a kid. Um, yeah. So it's good to hear. Good to hear you're. You're. I'm sure you're feeling a lot better. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure, it's, sure, it's, I'm, it's a lot sure less. More, I'm sure your of course, I haven't. Gone up. Yeah, I haven't been back to GameStop since uh, stepping down. But yeah, I mean, I feel a lot better. So have they have they needed you for the weekend? They, they, yeah, they called me. So like, I wasn't supposed to work tomorrow, but they called and asked if I could come in, and I was like, yeah, sure. So, Are they still blowing up your phone though when they need help with something? I uh, I mean, they I told them that like, hey, I'm gonna be a last result, uh, a last resort on the week, uh, you know, on the weekdays. <laughs> um, <laughs> so like, I think they know not to call me unless it's like a have to. But like mm. most of the time, like I've had a, I had a subbing job every day and then I had school every day. So, um, I could maybe come in in the afternoon after my school or subbing, but it'd be rough. So why, 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 why put yourself through that? Exactly. You know, why yeah. do that? I, ha, have you heard about the, this is kind of getting off topic to games, but have you heard about the great resignation that's kind of swept sweeping our country? With sports? Has that, has that, has that, no, with, with jobs, with like the workforce. Oh workforce. no, no! I didn't. It's like, a, I mean, it makes sense, but I it's kind of getting. It's that's what's kind of I've been seeing in articles and stuff like that being dubbed. Maybe you guys have heard about it too. Um, you know, just with people. Well, first, people were just losing their jobs because businesses were closing. Yeah. But now, now that we've been a year and a half so removed from this, and things are slowly starting to come back in, people are just quitting jobs now. I mean, we kind of discussed it when we talked about you know Game GameStop up, and yeah. all that stuff but like it's called the it's being dubbed the great resignation because people are just leaving jobs in droves um and so um and part of it is because people are just like we discussed before people are just tired of being treated wrong they they, they care about their well-being and their morale and their happiness their home life more than they do a paycheck now yeah. um and so it kind of just ties into what you said i mean like you could you could and maybe maybe 10 years ago that David probably would go, you know, to GameStop on a late shift if he, you know, if you're in the same situation you are now. Like yeah. maybe you would have then, maybe five, even five years ago, that David would have done it. But now, like I think with COVID and being alone for so long and realizing how much it's how great it is to have your home life back, people are just like, yeah, I'm not. I don't like. Yeah. I don't like uh, slavery. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see you know if who breaks first the companies or or the people because like we yeah that's true but like even with unemployment gone now across the you know the the national employment people still aren't people people were suspecting that you know all the jobs you know would be starting getting filled people will start applying like crazy and so far it hasn't happened yet yeah and so um 
but that's a wider discussion for some for another podcast to cover. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about games, and yeah. we're going to get going here. Um, what we're playing, man, I am playing a whole bunch of shit, which I normally don't do. Um, I don't like to play a lot of games at once because I just feel it, it's kind of like when you're juggling a lot of things at work at once or like in your life at once. You kind of feel like you're not getting anything done, and you kind of feel like the sense of like you like not like like a like a whole. You know, we're talking like a sense of like, I have so many things that just, I can't get, can't seem to get done and all this stuff. And I know this is just games, but like it kind of applies to that. And so I like to focus on one game at a time, maybe two at the most, um, or like one console game, one handheld game or something separately. But there's a few reasons why. <laughs> and so I'm playing, I, I told you, I told you, I'm back to Crash 4. Yep. Doing those gas damn time trials. Oh, I'm yes. at 12. I'm at 12 of them now. I got 12 down. Making progress. 26 to go. <laughs> and I, but I have a glimmer of hope because I, I, so there's this, there's this channel I've been watching consistently for their, for their time trials. It's, it's a, um, they're a long standing trophy site or trophy, yeah, trophy site, but now they have a channel. It's called Power Picks. Mm-hmm. Um, so power, but it's spelled Power P Y X. And they've been around giving trophy guides for years. And I've referenced a lot of the videos before, like for collectibles and things like that. But now they have a time trial guide and theirs is good because it's not like, it's not like those fucking, you know, those, those dudes, those like MLG pros who just like the time is like one thirty, but they got 40 seconds. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not like that. Like yeah, the times were about like the times, like the times are within a couple seconds. So it was like, okay, someone, some reasonable level, like, like a more relatable player, is doing this right yeah and and if like and if they beat the time trial by like five or so seconds then it's like okay that makes that makes me feel like i could do that too so um i've looked at some of the later levels that i remember having a really hard time with getting the perfect relics and like some of those are beaten by a good margin so i'm like okay cool (laughs) that makes me feel good when i get there um so yeah it's just getting through the middle part so we'll have to see um but 12 down, but like, I, I still can't take too many at one time. Mm-hmm. Like I've been doing maybe two. Well, the other day I did four, but like, and that was, that was stressful. But like, I usually just do two a night when I do play it. Cause it's just so much anxiety. I don't know if you've ever done time trial stuff in other games, but like, it's, really. there's so much anxiety trying to do it. And then, yeah, it's, I don't want to, I don't want that in my life. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> so I do like two at the most and then I'm done with that for like a, and i don't even play it every day like every other day but because of that i have i need other games to fill in the void and so i'm playing so i'm still working on that it's gonna be an ongoing progress i think i'm gonna when i get to the last level i'm going to do it and then see and, you know do get to the run to where i know like i got it but not actually get the relic and i'm gonna live stream it i'm gonna live stream me getting the last relic <laughs> and then so i the ending along with anyone else who joins it'll be a short stream for sure but i feel because like it would be not fun to stream the whole prog the pro process yeah because i'm i have to be quiet i gotta be focused i can't be fucking around mm. but i think on that one especially if i already did it before just just didn't actually finish the level i think I'll, i think i'm gonna do it. so stay tuned stay <laughs> tuned people um but yeah so i'm playing that and then i'm playing borderlands one um i'm playing the dlc I don't know if you played all the DLCs. I barely played Borderlands them. One at all. Oh yeah, you said you didn't even play Borderlands One, but Borderlands One had four DLCs. Um, it had the Zombie Island where you fought Ned mm-hmm. or uh, Doctor Z. Doctor Z. To- totally not real or totally not fake. Uh, twin brother Doctor Ned, um, and he like unleashed a zombie apocalypse, which was funny because I, I was like, oh, it's October, and I'm and I got <laughs> this DLC. How, how fitting. So I finished that. That was no big deal. But then, but then there was a second DLC, Mad Moxie's Underground Riot, is what it's called, yeah. and it is fucking bullshit. You probably heard about it because it sucks. <laughs> all it is is a, all it is is just arena challenges. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. See, you don't even, you didn't even play it, yeah, no, and yeah. you know about it. It gives That's you good how rewards. Crap though, it is. is what no, I it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe. Actually, you know what? It probably would if I wasn't doing if I wasn't using a glitch. Okay, so there, there's a workaround to make it easier for yourself. If you do it in a co-op game, because you earn trophies, both players earn trophies if they play co-op. And so I open I start the game on my other profile. So it's the host. And that one's only level 20. And then 
I bring in my main account, my main uh, character, who's level that's that's level so forty two. Level it. So everything levels to the host. So mm. I mean, I have to worry about my the 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 sub account dying all the time, but um, my character like and I have like the guns from my playthrough, right? That's like yeah, high yeah, level yeah. guns. So yeah. I have um, I'm just like you know killing them really quick and they're not really killing me much ever if all if at all and so um that's helping but i imagine if i was doing a solo by myself with like high level loot or someone else with the same level i'm sure the rewards would be better but it's not worth it because you have you start off with having to do there's three there's three arenas you have to start off with doing um five rounds of enemies but each round has five waves so you have 25 you have to do that for all three arenas that's and that's the lesser challenge all right once you do that you don't have to do it it's not a mission but you open up the larger challenges which is the same fucking levels same arenas yeah. except this time it's 20 rounds so you have a with five waves each so it's a hundred waves of just enemies and it's the same waves the same order every single time there's no change. There's no difference. The only ch- the only change you have is that the enemies be slightly different, depending on which arena you're in. That's it. I hate it. It takes like three and a half hours to do each one, <laughs> and that's all you get is some weapons after you finish a round. That's yeah. it. Like that's not that's this, the bull. It's the biggest bullshit. And get this on PlayStation Four, just for not even on PlayStation Three, PlayStation Four. They fucked up the code, so you you were at risk to, for it to glitch on you. And people have been reporting it glitching not until you get to like round 17, 18, 19, where you've done 70 to 90 waves already, two and a half, three hours in, and then the game just... And then it just, that, that's it, that's it. That, just, that's the one that's thing it. that like the PlayStation had trouble with when in that generation was they have a lot of games that have glitches that that xbox just didn't have to deal with yeah i mean well here's the here's the weird thing like it's with playstation 4 right not ps3 the yeah, ps3 yeah. version is fine the ps4 version though is fucked up and it's just ps4 not even xbox yeah like you said yeah, xbox yeah. has no problems saying, yeah. and yeah this is not the first game i've run into where the ps4 port from something else got super screwed um Skyrim, because of, Fallout. Because, no that was on ps3 those issues were on PS3. Oh, really? I don't I don't know about PS4. Um, but PS3, yes. No, that was like a save file issue because of the way the PlayStation <laughs> yeah. handles saves. Yes. Just, that was on PS3. Destroyed um, the PlayStation. But you could say PlayStation in general has had problems yeah. um with, with games and stuff with ports and shit. But um yeah, yeah, it's um but I got one done yesterday. I got one of the bigger ones done. Um because there's been people workarounds where if you use a if you use a weapon with a fire mod or an acid mod um and or corrosion whatever if you die by corrosion or fire and just burn or ask you know dissolve the, there's no code anymore for that character so it doesn't need to load it up so you want to mm. kill every enemy or as much enemies as you can with the fire gun or your acid gun and hope that you know they dissolve more than dissolve so that it's not taking on so much code because what it is is that there's just too many enemies for the mm. console to, for the code to handle the console or whatever to handle so it's like the less enemies you actually have on screen the better um or an explosive mod so like instead of the whole body it's just like maybe a piece or two gotcha so i was doing that and and i have no idea if this works but like between every round where it like circles like the buffs or debuffs or whatever that you have i like aimed my aim my person to the ground while i ran around just to maybe think like it doesn't have to load up as much i don't know but like <laughs> i'm just doing anything i can man all right <laughs> <laughs> um but i got one done i'm gonna try one tonight and hopefully me get another one on sunday and i'll be fucking done and i can move on to the other two dlcs that are actually dlcs um with my life and then so yeah so in between those um i played um dear esther you remember that one that walking yes. simulator yeah the walking sim yeah I yeah i, I played that later. apparently that was a a horror game and i had no idea um <laughs> because it was it's made by the same people that made everybody's gone to the rapture same people yeah. i believe yeah and um i played that too i don't know which one came first i think esther came first but um went through that game it was very interesting um walking so much is always kind of interesting you know with what kind of narrative they want to tell because that's all it is is the narrative 
And um, it was kind of hard to understand at first, but then when I started, when I went back and I um, got all the developer talks, whatever, because that's what those kind of games do. You can like find developer pieces and they can talk, they'll talk about the game. I was like, oh, okay, that's what was going on. So it's a very interesting game. Apparently it's a ghost game. You play as a ghost, but like it's not, that's not immediately, you know, um, noticeable. Good you know, yeah. apparent as until you play the game more. And I didn't even understand it at first, but like, and then I looked it up online to figure out what was up with it. Cause I didn't really understand it. Cause it was, it was kind of, to me, at least it was, it was a little kind of, you know, abstract. So I wanted to understand more, but that was an interesting one. I went to like two hours though. Um, and then I just started up this game called Relicta or Relicta. It's a, um, I thought it was a first person shooter. <laughs> that's what i thought it was <laughs> i thought it was like an indie first person shooter title right that looked kind of interesting with some futuristic elements and stuff it's actually a first person puzzle game and i did not realize that and i'm not that happy about it because <laughs> because i don't like puzzles <laughs> um um but um it's not bad so far um i only played maybe a couple hours into it um but yes but the narrative is kind of interesting um you play as an indian woman which is which which is different um, an inter- entity mom actually so she's a little bit, little bit older um, she has like a daughter and everything and blah 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 and stuff and, but yeah I don't really know like what's going on like what's going to be the bigger I mean I don't really yeah. know like what's going to be the big because that hasn't been revealed yet like any kind of huge conflict I mean people who you run this facility with they've been stranded because like some kind of tram or whatever got shut down we don't know why yo, though but that's not like there's nothing been planted yet for like the world's gonna end or whatever. Like nothing, none of that's happened yet. So I, yeah. I don't, I don't really know. Um, and that's about it for me. Yeah, a lot of shit going on on my end. What about you? Um, I uh, downloaded and played a little bit of uh, Back for Blood. Oh yeah, um, you mentioned that, and you spelled. Yeah. You didn't say. You said it. You said it. It is. <laughs> yeah, I told whatever. You, post. you didn't say Back for Blood is good. You said like it good. It is good. <laughs> it is good. It is good. good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it, it's like, yeah, I just have to, you know, if I was playing with somebody else or with friends, I'm sure it'd be more fun. It it definitely feels like Left 4 Dead. It's missing, the, like, the the intense, like, witch, like, kind of like, when you hear the witch and you're like, oh. That's what I heard. I heard uh, the cues, the cues weren't as, like, yeah, I heard about that in a review I read um, on that game. It was, like, something, like, with the witch or another character, I think, from the old, the old games. Like, when they were about to show up, you knew and yeah your, the witch your, and your the, anxiety just the like witch just shot was up. definitely one and then i think it was like the berserker like the guy who would just like okay. run and, and through you I, I like don't, i don't know both of those like you're you're missing that because like that was that was cool and they don't have anything on that scale like the rest of the the infected the special infected they're cool um the gunplay is of course a lot better you can aim down sights which you couldn't aim down sights in left for dead um really except for snipers it was yeah. all it was all from the hip? Yep, all hip fire. Um, so yeah, you can aim down sights. <laughs> um, there's a lot more like it well, no, I I will take that back. It there uh, and maybe it's because I was playing on a different uh different difficulty, but it seems like there's less zombies than in Left 4 Dead too, so but yeah. Maybe because you're also by yourself, maybe? Maybe, yeah. I mean it, but overall it was good. I mean the bots are actually you know worthwhile like they they do their job um they they revive you uh pretty consistently and and they do a pretty good job um but yeah it's a fun game i've been playing a little bit of rage too because it's on game pass and i never got around to playing that and it's i don't know i i i put it down again so probably the same reason it's just a too like spread out of a game um spread you mean like it's too open yeah like their open world just doesn't have anything in it so it's it's just a lot of like yeah it's just it's it's a good tight gameplay you know from those guys who did doom and and wolfenstein and stuff like that so the the gun plays Mm -hmm. good it's just yeah i don't know just missing something um i who made it was was that arcane or was it id which one of those guys was it it pretty sure did doom okay well regardless neither of them neither arcane or id or anyone else from that that studio or that those people bethesda that's what it is well no i take that back because who made skyrim and fallout who who makes Oblivion. that uh, like which, not Obli- um which which studio i mean i know i know bethesda publishes it like but like was there an internal studio I that we don't know of think so or was it just bethesda just software, bethesda software 
Huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe they need to get those guys on Rage because, like, Id and Arcane, open world games are not their strong suit. Yeah. You no. Know? I mean, so yeah, I feel like they should have just got the main team for Bethesda to make that Rage Rage Two. Yeah, but overall, it's 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 okay. It's just like I don't have time to play a lot of games, so I kind of put it down real fast. Um, and then other than that, I haven't really been doing much. I've been busy, but I downloaded um and will eventually play um uh, psychonauts uh two. Oh yes i heard it's yes. really good so i will eventually play that but yeah i haven't been doing much yeah anymore. i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to download and buy the first one um it's on Just, so there's actually two versions of it there's actually so they initially released psychonauts one on the playstation store as a ps2 classic when they had that short-lived little thing um, a couple years back, but then apparently they released like a remastered version of it that has like a full trophy list, like with a platinum and everything. Because the PS2 Classic, I don't think did. Mm. So kind of weird. There's two different versions of it, but it's the same game. But either way, I need to jump on that because um, I really because I never I always thought it was kind of a little bit weird. I guess I just wasn't maybe old I mean, enough. It or is. Just, weird, I didn't think it was but... on my. I didn't think it was up my alley or something. But I mean, it's a platformer. Yeah. That's true. sense, and yep. I got to give it a shot in that, in that regard at least. But um. Oh uh, yeah, but Rage Two reminds me of uh, Mad Max. I don't know if you ever played Mad Max. Yeah, I tried again and again. I just, I just, I don't know. Maybe I just well, don't yeah, like I, video I, games. Maybe that's, maybe that. Maybe it's, <laughs> there's, there's very, there's, especially I lately. I, I, maybe I'm getting old. Just cause I haven't, I haven't like yeah. loved a game in a long time. Like probably you loved Hades. I loved Hades. That's true. I loved The Last of Us Two. Um, God, so you actually loved that oh, game. You yeah, actually yeah. loved Last oh, of yeah. Us Two. Yeah. Oh, all the all the ooh. all the backlash is just bullshit. Yeah. People. Oh, oh, you hear this? Just, you hear this? Just being salty because Joel him. died. Like it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid, man. Like the story was good. Just like let them tell the story they want to tell. Like everybody's like, oh, Joel wouldn't have been that dumb. Like no, like you're no, you're giving. Like I love Joel, oh, and Joel was great, but like. I do love that Joel. situation I do love that he was Joel. put in. I'm sorry that there's no like he would have had to have a fucking like sixth sense, been freaking like uh, a mind reader to know what was going to happen in that situation. Like, I don't know, but he did have that listening mode. Let him let, let him hear through walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I loved it. I loved it. Whenever I get around to Last of Us Two, we're going to dedicate a podcast to that to that game. Because then I can actually talk to you in, in, in depth with it. Um, but uh, no, you love games. It's just, it's just, it hasn't been, I mean, it's just because you, you're so limited for time. You have to find a game that really That's speaks true. to what you can do at the moment. So yep. if a true. game can't bring the action within an hour or like an hour <laughs> first of time, Something, you, just, I don't know. you just, you just can't do it. You don't have the time yeah. no more. Oh shit. I played a Far Cry 6 too, a little bit. And that's oh, actually yeah. good. I've been, I was having fun with that. Yeah. Uh, the, the, like, I don't know what it is about it and it might be maybe it's designed to do this but like I like headshotting people in there just the sound that it makes just like oh does something to my brain and I'm just like yeah and I I'm pretty good at headshotting so like I I think every base that I've come across I've 100% stealthed it like just like going around like sniping people grabbing their bodies dragging them away like it's it's pretty cool. I definitely three is still the best one by far, but six six has been pretty fun. That's good. But that's that's, it. Good. that's all I've been playing. That's good. That's good. I have not. I've only played three. No, take the back. I played three and I played Blood Dragon. Oh um, uh, yeah, yeah. Which is funny. I actually played Blood Dragon first because when I found out that it was just a spinoff that has nothing to do with the main game, I was like, okay, cool, I'll play it. And then I played three finally, right, a couple years back. Um, and then, and I have not. I I bought Far Cry Classic because it was on. They added it the, the, on the PS3 PSN, so I have that title. I will eventually play that. Um, I do want to play all of them eventually, but it's just uh, eh, it just hasn't hit my radar. I haven't had the urge, you know. Yeah. But 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 I have played three though, so I mean that's the pinnacle. So you know. yeah, I still can't believe I like what I heard when I first played Far Cry Three, right? Or when I was getting into play, I was like, yeah, you know, everyone knows about Voss, blah, blah, blah. You know, like he's, he's the mascot of the gang. He's the best. You know, it's awesome. And, you know, you know, he's like the first villain you get introduced to, which is like great. You know, like he's he's wonderful. His like 
you can't really figure out what his intentions are, but that's like the that's like the point of him. That's like the yeah. draw of him. Great. Holy crap, man. I wish someone had told me that he was gonna die like two thirds into the game. Yeah, it I couldn't sucks. I couldn't believe it. I could yeah. not believe it. Like, holy crap. I was like I was like, okay. And then they introduced his main boss, right? And I'm like, who the fuck is this Joker? Who's yeah, this guy? Just some, just some white suit? dude. Yeah. yeah, some some white guy wearing a suit. Like, who is this guy? Like, how am I supposed to think that he is more crazier than Voss? Yeah, and he had be- and it, it says, especially since he doesn't get introduced way into the yeah, game. Yeah, it would have been better if they would have if they would have like introduced him with like yeah. A- eventually or like maybe you hear Voss talking to him or something something to make him like yeah, it was just like had, hey I'm, I'm here if they had planted the seeds that like okay he actually answers to somebody yeah okay okay like there's okay there might be someone crazier than Voss right because if he answers to somebody if someone can control him he's got to be crazy right but like yeah. no they never hinted it it's never hinted once that he has someone he reports to at all or maybe if he does I we can't remember it's been a long time but um but still, if they did, it's not much. And in everyone, and all his henchmen make him seem like he's the craziest guy, like he's the scary dude, like not some other guy that who knows where he was at the whole game. Yeah. And so, and also, yeah, with how much shit you do in the game, with how many operations that you sabotage and all these things that you do, how why does it take two thirds into the game for him to want to finally show his head? Right? Yeah. Yeah. It. I mean, I know we're talking, we're criticizing a ten year old game, but like. <laughs> But but still, like, is that – anyways, okay, we're going to move on. Um, so today, guys, instead of instead of a uh, fun little question, we're going to do a little trivia. So I have a question I'm going to be asking David, and I'm going to see how well he can do with it. Let's now, this it. is pulled – I don't know if you heard of a channel called Triple Jump. Um, shout out so. to, to Drew Gamer because um, apparently um, a friend of his – I guess someone that they reference on that channel is related to is related to um Drew's friend. So um, but anyways, I was watching them before I heard that. I re- I really like these guys. Um, they seem like what would happen if you and I went big with like a gaming channel. And by big, I mean kind of like medium size. Yeah, yeah. They only, enough they only, enough to they only have like a hundred and eighteen thousand, but still, yeah, enough to matter yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like they actually have to go to the studio and like an office mm. to work. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, um. Anyways, I like them a lot, and they put out a video. Of the top ten best-selling franchises, oh, game franchises that is, game franchises, and so I wrote them down. I'm and yeah. they seem to really you know be on their stuff. They don't just spit out shit for the sake of it. So I'm sh- I'm I'm hoping that they research this so I don't look like an asshole. But anyways, what do you think the top? I mean, sorry, you can you don't have to do a, a order. Just 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 tell me what how, which companies you think or game franchises you think are on this list. Okay, so Tetris. Did you watch the video, by the way? No, but I've seen that okay, video. Good. I like it. Uh, okay, well, Tetris yes, is, is on number there. one. I'm pretty sure. It's actually not one. Really? I think it was, I think it was two. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. I was surprised, uh, too. Yeah. Pac-Man? Nope. No? Okay. Uh, it's not according to this list. <laughs> Super Mario? <laughs> well, Mario. Just Mario. Just Mario. Okay. Mario. Um, is Elder Scrolls on it by now? No, uh, GTA. Yes, GTA. Is okay, on G- there. I, yeah, I figured GTA would get on there. Um, Halo. Nope. No. So I've got Tetris, GTA. <laughs> Bro, with all the returns Halo Five got, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first three sold like hotcakes. So like, that's true. I, I mean, I wasn't really. I mean, I wouldn't have known. I never had an Xbox, so. Um. Let's keep it going. And this, uh, this is list- one specific title or like No, it says a franchise. Again? It's a franchise. So it's like 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 you know when you said to Mario, like no, it's just Mario. Okay. So whole. like uh Madden? Is Madden on there? It sells every year. No. No, nope. oh, okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, nope. Because Madden doesn't sell enough over the whole world. That is just a is I guess, okay, so thing. FIFA. FIFA's, FIFA is on FIFA's there. FIFA's be on, on there. Yeah. Yep, FIFA. Okay. I, I, I should have said that because that would have. Because no, I think that, I, I think that, I that would have. Yeah, that, 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 that was a big head. hint. Um, I wasn't trying uh, to give you a hint. I was just saying Madden doesn't sell yeah, anywhere besides uh, the US. <laughs> is NBA on there, 2K? No. Okay. 
I mean, I know NBA is bigger than Madden. Yeah, the world, I was just thinking not, it comes still, out every year. Like, you know, it, it, might, nope. it might have a chance. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, I will okay, give yeah. you one hint, though. Yeah. The genres are – what I like about this list is the genres are, are, are spread out. All over the place? Yeah, the genres are all over the place. So don't just think one type of genre. Yeah, I'm trying to think. But you got four. Um, you got four. You got four. That's pretty good. It's forty percent. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> I know this. I know you're using Texas grading standards, but, but we gotta shoot a little higher than forty. <laughs> oh jeez, I don't know. Uh, Bioshock wouldn't be on there. No. <laughs> good games and they get... I'm just trying to think of good games. Uh, don't think of the games. Think of the franchises. You gotta think beyond yeah, I know. the games. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, Fallout. No, uh, Command and Conquer. No. Oh wow! What about Wow? No, actually, no, no, not on this list. I wonder. They, it it has to be. There has to be some kind of caveat because Wow should definitely be on there. Um, uh, oh, what's that? There was another really popular MMO game. It's not an that, M- Nope. There's no MMOs. Nope. No MMOs. Okay, so they must not count those. Um, oh shoot! You're gonna have to give me another hint. Oh. I. Honestly, I, I don't know what else to say without giving shit away. Okay, then I give up. What, what's the other ones? All right, so you got – so okay, so you had FIFA, GTA. FIFA, GTA, Tetris. Actually, I wrote these down in order from the least biggest to the biggest biggest. <laughs> and oh, so okay. you actually had gotten – so you had FIFA, which ended up six. GTA was five right after it. And then um, Tetris was two, and Mario was one. Okay. Um, at ten. So that's fifty. I got fifty percent. I said, I said four games, bro. I, I said it... FIFA, GTA, Tetris, and Mario. Okay, well, whatever. Now you can't even count. <laughs> What's going on? And you're yeah, stopping for classes. Anyways, um, Minecraft was ten. Oh, dude, yeah, mm-hmm. I should have done Minecraft. If I had see, only thing I was thinking of was maybe like think kid games. I feel like that would have just been too too hard. I'm um, too easy of a hint. Yeah. Um, Sims was nine. That makes sense. Lego was eight. Oh, just like Lego in general. Le- yeah, okay. see, that's, that's what I said. You got to think beyond the games. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then this was kind of an interesting cap. This was kind of like a caveat entry, but um, so they put we series, and by that they meant we sports, we play, we gotcha. um, like we. If anything has the word we in the game title, <laughs> um, but mainly we sports. But yeah, mainly Wii Sports. <laughs> but yeah, apparently that that was number Wii um, Fit probably so long. Yeah, too. that was in there too. Like Wii Fit, Wii Sports, we play, we you know, music, whatever, anything like that. Um that was seven. And then you got FIFA and GTA. And then four Pokemon. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense too. Four was Pokemon and then three was COD. Call of Duty. Oh, that also makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't say COD. Of course COD's on there. I was wondering why you didn't say COD. Um uh, and then uh, Tetris and Mario. So yeah, but you got you got four of them. Um, interesting. I just like I just loved how what ended up happening with this top ten was that it was just so spread out. Like I said before, I I loved that it was spread out. Like it wasn't just like COD was one and then Battlefield was two and then Halo was three and then you know like just just sticking with yeah. just, you know Bioshock was four or something. Team Fortress or Half Life was like the next one. Like I'm glad that the top like when it comes to like best selling games, it's all over the place. Yeah. I, I well, it tends that. to be things that are kind of like easily downloaded too. So like Minecraft's on every, you know, Microsoft or was on every, every Microsoft computer. Um, Tetris was everywhere. Um, yeah. I mean, Tetris is one of those things where you kind of need to, you need to be able to like understand not because like the Tetris doesn't really think of like, people don't think of Tetris as a video game. Right. But when you think of it as just a game, a virtual type of game it's like really? yeah tetris i mean because like when, when they said when they went to tetris i was like yeah absolutely absolutely yeah tetris it's like one of the oldest games too um oh yeah for sure and yeah i mean the fact you can put on a calculator i mean come on <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh you can't put no you can't put no pokemon on a calculator or maybe you uh, can yeah. now maybe you can who yeah, knows true. Probably. <laughs> maybe you can <laughs> You gotta keep track of get on that. You gotta keep your eyes open when you're teaching, David. You gotta watch the calculators. They, right? they might they might be really calculators with like Wi Fi capabilities. So you it's play probably Pokemon, tons of crazy. Playing Pokemon wirelessly on the TI like who knows what they're called now, TI like two thousand and eighty two. <laughs> oh man but yeah so that was our, our little question for the day with fun question that was that was an interesting one 
Um, so on, on to our main topic here. Um, I wanted to tell maybe swerve things in a different direction, kind of just talk about something kind of random. But so something that kind of gets brought up from time to time. And um, it's good because David is an Xbox mainstay owner. He always has been. So this is kind of pertaining to him. So it'll be interesting to get his thoughts from someone who is Xbox, main, a main Xbox guy. So we wanted to talk about uh, Microsoft and Xbox is like, since they became a gaming company to now, their exclusive game strategy has been kind of all over the place. Um, not just focusing on the last generation and still kind of going into this one, but um, it's been all over the place. Because I remember the 360 days and the early, like kind of the later Xbox days, they had a good amount of games that yeah. would say, you know, only on Xbox. I remember coming, I remember going to GameStop as a teenager and I wouldn't just I wouldn't just coverage you know scour the PS3 section. I would go over the Xbox 3 section and just kind of look around and see things, just to see like what what do like what is over there, right? I was never gonna play them, but like kind of cool to know. And you know I came across a bunch of games that would always have that big old, well not really big, but it was like in the, it was in the middle of the white banner. It would say like a, it was like a, a slanted square, and it said only on Xbox. And I'd be like, oh man, because uh, they had a um. It's, they had a, a Oni Chabara game. You remember that era, Oni Chabara? Yeah. yeah it was Oni a Chibara, three. Yeah. It was on three sixty only, and I was like, I think I remember. Yeah, little teenage, you know, hormonal oh, RJ was losing his goddamn mind. Like, it was oh, like, no, why no can I? Me. Yeah, like what you did? How dare you deny me Microsoft? <laughs> so, but, but I remember, you know, Bioshock had the same thing. Mass Effect had the same thing. You know, and like, you know, some games like COD had like the exclusivity on the DLC for a long, long, for a long, time. long time. Yeah, and back when it really mattered too. Um, I remember people would just be up in arms about that back in the day. Like, I remember just re- reading forums on PlayStation, um, websites and stuff like that. They would PS3 fanboys would be losing their shit. Over the fact they had to wait a month to like get the next DLC pack, so like, yeah, it well, mattered, that was, it mattered that was, back then. Yeah, and that was especially back like when Xbox's online services were hands over fist better than PlayStation. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. way better. And that was part of it is that they just were way better um, at online well, gaming and not PlayStation. Is kind it was of also better. funded. You know, they had they yeah. had the fifty sixty dollar subscription yes. fee, which I'm sure it just helped back up the infrastructure that they were able to use instead of coming out of pocket or from other means that sony had to do but on the same time they probably also thought because like this fan base between sony and microsoft are very different this well i would say maybe more so then um but like you know i mean for me i'm only talking for me personally but like i don't like playing online i play it as little as i possibly can right and i would argue you would probably find more people with my with the way i think about games on playstation than xbox not saying that they don't exist but like more of them are there than with xbox right we're kind of more yeah. solitary loner gamers because the games that come out are kind of suited to that the jrpgs or just rpgs in general or just other type you know the single player narrative games you know like that's kind of just suited for us anyway so it's like we could have probably cared less as much well, we probably care yeah we did care less about that than people on xbox like if you switch that shit around Somebody would have been like, we have all this money, but like no one's really using our services. And then Xbox people would be like, we have people like trying to bust down our doors <laughs> because we don't have a good enough infrastructure for our internet. <laughs> yeah. But like then you could say, well, maybe that would have driven, you know, people to play to PlayStation it, from Xbox. Who knows? It may have. Um it may have. But that that's either neither here, but we're gonna talk about exclusives though. But like it was just a very interesting situation. Someone who had an X who's had I mean, did you have the original Xbox as well? Uh, no, no, you had a PS2. No, no. I had a, right? a PlayStation 2. Okay, so ever since you've been on 360, you've been part of that family. How has it been watching that strategy well, a, develop over the years? That's the funny thing is that, like, I am not a big Halo guy. Uh, never have been. I'm not a big Gears of War guy. Never have been. I think I finished Gears of War 2. I think that's the only Gears of War I've ever finished. I I played and finished Gear, uh, Halo Three. I think that's the only Halo game I finished. Um, I got onto Mass Effect way behind everybody else. Um, I mean, most of the games that I played, especially back in the day, were um, I did play Forza. So Forza was an exclusive that I was like, oh man, like especially because like 
later on in Gran, in Gran Turismo, I didn't like the direction they went with that, and I felt like Forza was a little bit better. Um, so, like, I did play Forza, but that's about it as far as, like, the exclusives. I think uh, the first Dragon Age was an exclusive for a little bit, too. Um, but, like, I don't know. I think, like... Hmm. Okay. I, maybe it was, or maybe remember. it was just Mass Effect. I, I do feel anyway, good. I think the I think the thing that that's that's interesting is that Xbox definitely definitely has a, a uh, at least for now. Now we'll see with all the studios that they bought up and how how exclusives go with that. Now that they actually have like big banger you know studios making games for them, we'll see how many of those are exclusive or timed exclusives. But at least right now they have this thing of like, hey, we don't care where you play it so long as you play it. So they they don't really have exclusives anymore besides the the hardcore, you know, Halo, Forza, and, and uh, Gears. Um, but even back then, they were like, hey, we have exclusive rights to Mass Effect. Um, but they gave that either gave that up or maybe they had some some play in in, in it going to PlayStation. Um, you know, so we saw them doing that back then, and I don't know if like. I never really cared too much um, about the exclusivities of games or whatever. Like it definitely sucked that I had to like get a PlayStation to play Uncharted or whatever, but um, it never really meant anything to me. For me, Xbox, I just like, I love the controller. I cannot play on a PlayStation controller. Like my hands cramp. It's the worst. I hate it so much. Like we're playing Borderlands right now. Uh, on PlayStation Four, and Borderlands I hate it. Two, it, by the way, not, my not the my first. hands cramp so much. I'm just trying to grip the freaking things. I hate it. I hate it. So that that was like the biggest thing for me is like when I played uh, Xbox 360. Plus, it was cheaper, um, which was a huge thing. That's why I got a 360 instead of a PlayStation Three. A lot 3. cheaper. Um, it's, it was a lot cheaper. Um, but then I got I had my hands on the controller, and I was like, holy shit, this controller is so much better. Um, and like that's what it was for me. So I never really cared about the exclusives on either side. Um, I am caring more on the PlayStation Five side right now, at least, because like freaking uh, uh, the new Spider-Man, the new Wolverine game, the new God of War game. Like I gotta play those ones eventually. <laughs> like I have to. So I'm gonna have to get a PlayStation Five, and I, that's a win for them. Uh, we'll have to see what PlayStation does with Bethesda and with the other game studios that they they brought up. You know at this point there hasn't really been a say on like if Bethesda games going forward is going to be exclusive exclusive or maybe time exclusive or something like that um but yeah i think i think games i think uh games on i think uh xbox has always been more about the services like back in the day they were all about xbox live and making that the best service you know online service and now they have um and now they have Game Pass, and they're all about making that the best service they can. Um, I think that's always been their their thing, um, as far as like what they do. Um, but yeah, so like maybe like you know, it is I am an Xbox fan, but guy, but maybe I'm not the best with this because I've never really cared about the exclusives that Xbox had anyway. All the exclusives that I have liked have all been PlayStation exclusives, <laughs> um, so they win the war that way. I mean. If it wasn't for those PlayStation exclusives, I wouldn't have ever bought a PlayStation. But then, I guess, yeah, I guess this this is getting outside the because we want to keep this focus on the exclusive strategy. But I guess for you, their services strategy is what more appealed to you. You know, with the yeah, con- connectivity, yeah. the you know the, the 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 online capabilities, all the things you could do with managing friends lists, communications, all that kind of stuff. I've seen bits and pieces from like my brother because he had a three sixty growing up. And I've seen like how the dashboard. I didn't like the dashboard per se. I thought I know people will complain about the the XMB from the PS3, but I actually thought that it was super simple. But um, um, I've seen how robust it is though. It does seem to be more robust. Like the friends part of things seems to be way more robust than Sony's Sony's was. Um, <clears throat> but I guess I, I mean, yeah, you kind of can't talk about Xbox's exclusive games strategy without bringing up the fact that like they have had a history of just focusing more on the services rather than the goods per se. Um, so I guess it almost makes the conversation moot 
but <laughs> um it, it was i will say there is some truth to that as far as like them not caring so much on games because i remember and i guess i wish i had the the foresight at the time but like when i was growing up as you know 13 14 years old watching seeing games and i remember i remember seeing mass effect 2 for ps3 like at a GameStop, mm-hmm. and i was like wait what i could have sworn this was an xbox exclusive right and i was like okay that's weird and then i saw bioshock the first one on a ps3 shelf and i was like yo I clearly remember this saying, this game, the 360 games that said only on Xbox. So I was thinking, like, are they losing all their exclusives? Like, I was like, what's going on, right? And it, yeah. I think it was less of them losing and more of them not focusing on that or just making them, maybe it was a timed exclusive all along. It just wasn't advertised as such. Um, but back then, I was just thinking, like, oh, Xbox is just, they got no games no more that they can call their own. Like, they're losing at everything. Um, but and yeah. I mean, this, would be, this would be some of the research, too. But another thing is, we and we have to remember this, is that both Mass Effect kind of was under the radar. Like, yeah, Bio, BioWare had um, Knights of the Old Republic, which was huge. Um, and then uh, I think Dragon Age came out before Mass Effect as well. I can't remember. But anyway. Um, it, it, but it was still under the radar. But then that blew up, and maybe it gave them, Bioware, the 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 credibility to put it on PlayStation, hmm. um, or maybe you know same same with Bio Bioshock. Bioshock was not a known quantity, and then it blew up. And then when Bioshock Two came out, you know, and, and then of course Bioshock One also got on the PlayStation. But maybe it has something to do with more of the studios. They like Xbox was able to go to the studios and make a deal. Because, you know, it wasn't as PlayStation wasn't pushing those games as much or something like that. Maybe not. I mean, but Mass Effect's kind of weird because that's not RPG. And I feel like that would, that would, that fits, that, that would have fit with PlayStation. Bioshock, I understand though, because they've never been huge on like first person shooter type things, um, mm-hmm. like of their own, that is. Um, but yeah, maybe it could have been that too. But like, either way, I wish I had the foresight to kind of think beyond just the fact that like, oh, Xbox is just losing all the exclusive because that's what it seemed like. And I know those are the two biggest profile ver- examples I can think of. But there were other games I've just seen all the time. Like they had it and now it's not. And it was yeah, it, it isn't. Big. It isn't a recent conversation. This conversation has been going on for for a long time with Xbox and like, you know, what their strategy is. But I really think they are showing it now um that it doesn't and we can kind of see it too like playstation although not in the same degree but they're doing similar stuff now you know we see mlb the show is on xbox um they're putting a lot of their games to pc you know they used to be you know all our games will never be on anything but a playstation and now we're seeing that they're kind of relenting in those facts like i don't know if you know, I don't. I doubt that any of their hardcore flagship games will ever come to an Xbox. But I mean, again, so you know, Xbox doesn't really care. Microsoft doesn't really care. You know, as Spider Man is going to be on PCs, and some of those PCs are going to be, you know, uh, Microsoft PCs. So we're kind of seeing PlayStation do the same thing now. So maybe exclusives don't matter as much as we would think it does maybe they don't um i will i feel part of it i mean this is only my personal opinion but like yeah a lot of games or we're we're starting to see an increasing amount of games go on pc for sure and honestly when i hear that i almost because when people think about if people people who want to keep bringing up the the uh, console war you know narrative people don't really even mention pc they don't even really talk about PC. So I feel like P- it goes to PC and now it technically is no longer an exclusive, but like it's still a console exclusive because yeah. people don't even look at PC as a console. It's a platform, but like people don't look at it as a console, right? And so I feel like this, that's probably the one part of the reason why I think they've been taking their games to PC because yeah. they just think like, ah, I mean, who cares? It's PC, you know? And I wonder too, and this is, this is something that us Xbox guys have wanted for a really long time that technically the Xbox Series X is capable of. Um, and it's uh, someone actually ran a Steam Steam games uh, 
via the the new browser that's um, in early access for some Xbox guys. They were able to load up a Steam game and run a Steam game on there. It ran like sh- shit um, <laughs> because it had to go through a browser. Yeah. Uh, you know, but like what happens and I like I want this to happen so much and we don't know if it ever will. But like what happens if Xbox says like, hey, you can play PC games now. Um, and like we teamed up with Steam, and now Steam's like on the Series X, and then you have like Horizon Zero Dawn that's on Steam, and then you play it through an Xbox. But through an Xbox, <laughs> yeah. So you bypass it, like, like that, huh. like they, I, like that would be crazy interesting. I don't think that's gonna happen because I, Xbox has their own PlayStation, like uh, PC gaming, you know port or whatever you know like like a steam but for xbox so if they ever did pc games it would probably just be through that but and there's no way that that they're ever getting horizon zero dawn or spider-man on that that is that is hilarious yeah i honestly think if that ever did happen sony would stop releasing games for pc oh yeah or like say like (laughs) hey this can't be on the the yeah or like a clause yeah like a clause like if we see this on x through an xbox emulator or browser like they were shutting it down like (laughs) But I, I, I really want to play PC games on my on my Series X because I just I don't know if I'll ever have a PC. Like it's just it's just not it, something it that takes, I ever see myself doing. It takes a lot of time and money, man. It yeah. takes time and money. Um, but yeah, but it's it's a yeah. It's just it's interesting. I mean, I'm when I I mean over the last year, maybe two, they've been. I think they've added like fifteen, twenty new developers yeah. to their team. Oh, hello, cat. Yes. Um. Say everyone, everyone, say hello to the cat. She is very hungry, and wants say to hello to fed. the say hello to the hungry cat. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I was happy to hear about it. Even when they took up Double Fine, when they took up even Bethesda, when they they, they take up like Ninja Theory, like I think it's Ninja Theory. Yeah. Um, you know all these people. I'm like, damn, right? And I think about what is going to happen as far as the studios are concerned for, um. PlayStation, right? Or I, I think it, I think they took Obsidian as well. Did, I yes. think they took Obsidian. They took um, Obsidian bef- like a long time ago before they took. Yes, uh, that was one of their first ones. That was one of their first ones. And if we um, don't get a Fallout New Vegas two, I will be so pissed. Depends on well, now that they have they have both Bethesda, of them. Now Do that it. they have both of them. Do it. Maybe maybe it'll happen. Maybe Do it, it'll Xbox. Happen. But um, yeah, it's uh, I was even though I was sad. About like what's going to happen? I, I mean, it's going to like oh, there probably won't be any more PlayStation games from those studios anymore. Maybe who knows? But like, I'm just going to yeah. go with no to be on the safer side. I was still really happy for them because I do feel, I feel that even though they feel they probably don't need it, I still feel that they need it because, I mean. I mean, I because I also do appreciate Xbox's approach to trying to be more friendly or to kind of take down the walls of competition to create you know more cross-play games and like um not focusing so much because i think they're trying to do i think what the direction is trying to go is trying to kind of destroying this toxic culture of you know console fanboys and all that shit mm. and everything which I'm, I'm i'm down with you know like it, it sucked being mocked and teased for having a playstation 3 back in the day right it sucked yeah. and i would never want anyone to go through that because like i was I was damn near bullied by her having a PS3, right? And it's just that's just what I wanted to have, right? And I'm being yeah. ostracized for it. So I, I approve of that. I think that's a good good thing. But however, on a if you want to flip the lens to a business perspective, you do need people to have a reason to buy your console over the competition. Yeah. Right. And if you all you and services only go so far, right? Because that can be replicated. Sony can do something event if they ever wanted to. Put the resources they could do something to mimic whatever microsoft has services wise but games ips are you know those are pretty unique some of the time you know like yeah. i mean and you and you and with games you do need to kind of think outside the box like microsoft can't just make a xbox version of uncharted right they have to be they have to think better and bigger than that right so they do need a reason for you guys beyond just brand loyalty or services to buy the console so they it is great that they have all of these um these these new studios to hopefully make some high quality exclusive titles um beyond just their main three of forza gears and halo um you know to to really help kind of push it might not help with sales per se um, well maybe a little bit but you know like it may not help them 
beat Sony in sales because I don't think that's gonna happen. But um, it'll definitely help them get uh, give them a library. It'll give it's just like you can just say like I have so many fucking great games to look forward to that I know only I'm getting because I have an Xbox. I like, do I do think good. that if they were to find a way to put in a service to where that you on your Series X you could do the PC thing like play command and conquer or empire uh, uh um the empire uh i can't remember the game so but like sid meyer no well sid meyer civilization like if you could play like if they were like hey you can play pc games on your series x now like i think that would drive a lot of people because it's like like a like a a mini computer um which would make it a lot like that kind of exclusive feature would be you know just bro, kind of let's, a, let's think a little more realistically here man it's not happening in this in this generation this gaming generation. i don't know it's not it happening. might no. it might and if it does get it launched might. it ain't gonna be good we saw what happened to stadia and that was with its own fucking browser its own services and it was garbage but i don't know i don't know like not if only it, does microsoft <laughs> have the money which which google did too but they have the know-how as well and uh, the ecosystem already made so like that's why I think they could do it. But we'll, we'll then see. why haven't they? Then why haven't I, they? I don't know because it doesn't work, bro. Okay, maybe twenty years from now, yes, but it's not happening in the next five, six, seven we'll years. It's not. If it, I will be the biggest. I will be more surprised than anybody <laughs> if it actually if it actually drops. Like that's not. It's just not because also now that you have Steam running their own little like Game Gear thingy, it's like well, why would they do that then? They're already trying to like move add, forward with their value. own thing. Add value. I mean, but. it's a cool idea, but I just don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. So, you're thinking of something that's not realistic at the moment. We'll see. Well, yeah, we will see. A decade from now. <laughs> not five years from now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, more or less, um, they've had a up and down kind of history with um, games, because I, I kind of forgot about um, how good the Xbox 360's online services and just friend services was like the community services were. And yeah, I mean, it just, you went from a time where they had a couple, couple big hitters with a bunch of smaller ones kind of shown about people didn't really know about. Cause I think Jade empire was also only on 360 or Xbox. One of those, it was only an Xbox thing. And then, but like when they realized, I think they did were like, you know what? People just want to play games and commun- com- you know, be together and stuff like that. So let's just focus on that. So I think they focus, they kind of pushed that and let the games kind of go to the wayside, except for just a couple to not be completely devout of you know of uh, of games that you could say you can look on Xbox. And now I think finally they're, I think they're Coming probably doing, we might they're doing more. the games because now they have like their they have the online and social features so nailed down right and ingrained. I think now they've gotten to a really good point where they're comfortable with that. So now it's like, now let's focus on the game. So now we can try to have both. Yeah. Whereas I think Sony needs to do the opposite. They already, they've been having the games for a long time, long time. Like, and we're, we're good. <laughs> we don't need any more. We're fine. Um, but you're getting more. That, that's yeah, kind we of the keep other. getting more too. We keep. That's we the kind of other thing. Cause like, stop. that's kind of the other thing because like, Xbox hasn't had any new ones since those three that I've mentioned, but yet, you know, it just in the last few years, you have, uh, um, last of us. I, I think, you know, that's on the tail end, but, um, Spider-Man and horizon zero dawn. And, um, I'm sure there's others that I'm missing. Like even, even, even smaller, um, no man of Medan now isn't. Never mind that that whole series is now. Man of Medan an wasn't a, wasn't a Sony exclusive. No, it, I thought it was a first. Anyway, um, but you have like new ones that have been somewhat recent, um, which is also kind of like putting like the age on even the exclusives that that Xbox does have. Which is why I think that some of these games coming out will be exclusives. Um, but we'll have to see. Well, they we'll have to. See. Be. They have to. Yeah. Be. But um. Yeah, well, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, it's gonna take a couple of years before we start getting. Because I, w- I would love Anything. to see Xbox, to see Xbox. Because like there was like a from like twenty, it seemed like from like 20, 2013 to like twenty eighteen or something nineteen. Sony was just just 
fucking cranking them out, man. It was out of control. Like, just every, like, every quarter, there was at least one or two just exclusive titles for Sony across a bunch of different genres, too. And yeah. it, it was just out of control. It was almost like, just, we were just, keep, just getting pumped. It was like, it was like Rareware from Nintendo in the 90s. Like, just, <laughs> just out of control. Just nonstop bangers, right? I would love for Xbox to, like, in the next two, three years, to just start a string of just like here's this game from the studio ninja theory is big one and bethesda comes out with whatever oblivion does new vegas too you know like we just get like just just one after the other where sony is like oh shit <laughs> like we gotta we gotta come swinging um it's a great that sony hasn't rested on its soul as far as its games are concerned because the title titles are still really great but i feel if xbox starts bringing it hard yeah sony, my, it, sony, yeah, sony's gonna good. have to sony's got to be even better which will just can just you know just raise everything for everybody. So it's gonna be great. So I hope Xbox gets to that point in the next two or three years. And that's because that's that's how long it's gonna take. Um, we might get some smaller exclusive titles in the next year or two, but it's gonna take a few years for these studios that they've bought to start putting out these hopefully these bangers, right? Um, and we'll see what happens because uh, lately, I mean, the only thing really the that you, people Xbox owners could really say is like you know besides besides their big three is just like that's just what I've had or my that's where my friends are so I'm playing it and that's why like and I feel eventually with time it's because like and that that's a fickle thing right because if your friends decide to go to PlayStation or Nintendo or whatever you'll probably just jump too because there's no other reason beyond that to keep the to keep that console. And so that's why I I still firmly believe the Lucid games are important. It shouldn't be breeding this fanboyism, but it is important because as a business perspective, you do need to give people a reason to play your games and the games are the I think the one of the strongest things you have um to entice people to play. But I think that'll wrap up this one. Um yeah, we couldn't go too depth in depth with it because David apparently doesn't like games. Um and he doesn't like Halo apparently, or or, or or other things. I will say the last thing they, I think the last big one that they had, um, Rise of Tomb Raider was an exclusive, a timed exclusive. Didn't even know it was a timed exclusive for a year, um, because when it was announced, because I was uber excited, I was so because like I had just got I played the reboot, I was pumped, right? I was ready for the Lord to just keep getting ass beat by like a mountain or whatever like and it looks stunning for the 2015 it looked utterly stunning and it still looks really really good today and then it got launched at xbox's i think e3 of that year and i, I read an article a day or two later and it was announced that like it was like oh i think they were put like exclusive to xbox right and people were freaking out me included and then it took some time for xbox to finally eventually announce like it is it is a limited exclusive, a time exclusive. They didn't say how long yet, but they were like, time. I was like, okay. Whew. <laughs> like, I was freaking, I was freaking out, bro. I was like, no, don't do this to me. <laughs> don't do this to me. But um, I think that was like the last big, big thing that they took, like that they're trying to like take that wasn't beyond like their main three that I can, that I can remember, honestly, like of like of any, yeah. of any merit. But um, Anyways, yeah. So, anyways, guys, thank you for listening in on us. Thank you for enjoying. Sorry we missed last week. We we're back at it again. Um, I think next hey. week I might I might be trying to secure a, a special guest, David. Um, mm. for the Halloween. Um, actually, no, it won't be next week. The week after that, because Halloween's on a Sunday this year, which actually follows which actually follows perfectly <laughs> for what <laughs> for for when we put these out, which is Sunday. So I might be trying to get a special guest on. Um. I got people, a few people in mind I might reach out to for a special Halloween podcast um, episode. Um, but we will be back at it, or we will be back at it next week as usual. But as always, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this, if you liked us, if you like what we're doing. We really appreciate it. Share it with your friends and your family and your dogs, and share it with Microsoft. Tell them, tell them we want them to have we want them to have more exclusives. And that's coming from a Sony guy right here. Okay, guys, I want them to. Um, but yeah, guys, with that, we will see you next week. Goodbye. Peace.